Hello there, only one Kenobi here, only one, and some good news now. This is a, vi a, a, a figure I picked up today, today is Tuesday, you should be seeing this video by Wednesday. All going well, but um, as you know I've been on this vehicle mission and um, after I got this screen A-Wing here, so do check out that video if you want to see it, it's not long ago I uploaded it, I, um, I wanted to get a traditional A-Wing, the red one, you know. I actually, in all honesty, was eyeing up the 1995 one, which I have owned before, and I won it really cheap on eBay two years ago, and I sold it because at the time I wasn't collecting any vehicles, and I got it, and I had nowhere to put it primarily. That was before I started hanging them on the wall. I would have kept it otherwise, but uh, so I sold it on. Now I've got this, all these other vehicles, which has all been snowballing since I got the Katana this year. And I got this uh, green A-Wing here. I wanted to get the traditional one, the, the red one. So I was going to settle with the 95 one, as I say. But in looking around on eBay, I clocked this one. And I actually won it. I can't even get over it still that I won it for £30, including the postage. So I was over the moon. And it was an eBay auction. And I really thought it was one of those ones. It was on a Sunday, and I thought it was going to spiral out of control. I actually put a maximum bid of 50 on it, to be honest with you, because this thing comes with Arvel Crinid and Green. I've wanted that figure forever. You know, I've always wanted Green Leader. So I was actually doing a gig at the time. I'll tell you this as well. I <laughs> This ended at about half past nine or something. So it was halfway through my set. So I had no way of stopping the gig. Excuse me, ladies and gentlemen. I've just got to do a quick bid on eBay. I couldn't do that. So I had to put a bid in half an hour before it finished, which I hate doing that. Because you, you run the risk. I usually put a bid in if I can in the last 10 seconds. But thankfully, you know, nobody else was watching it or they forgot to bid on it. Like I've done that in the past. You know, I hate it when I do that. But So either way, I've been very fortunate. So I'm sharing it with you now. So I went to pick it up from the Postal Dispatch today. But I mean, ch check it out as well. It's come in such good condition. I can't sit here and say I don't want to open it because I really do. I want to get him out of there and I want to get that out of there. But look at it, man. It's come in such great condition, so I've, it's a bargain. It's legacy collection as well. I love this line of figures and vehicles. I was talking to somebody the other day about the legacy collection, and it's such a good line. It's it's brilliant, the quality of the line. It's the golden era of super articulation and all of that. And then it was followed by the leg the vintage collection shortly after. So, you know, one could argue that... Um, I mean, well, a lot of the figures that, and, and vehicles that were in the Legacy Collection got repacked in the Vintage Collection. So that says something, because that's a premium line. Anyway, so it's really good. Speaking of the 1995 one, this one here is different. It's not like a repack of that, that one, even though it's the same colour. It's different. I mean, check out that red panel right there. It's obviously specific to Green Leader, Arvel Crinid. Now, I don't know... I mean, obviously Lucasfilm or whoever has shared the archive and the one that he pilots that went through the the bridge of the Superstar Destroyer had that on. I, just, I, I wouldn't know. So we're trusting them on that. But the thing is, the fact that the one in 95 is different gives me license to get that one as well. And I've, and I've got two different red ones. So I've got the potential of having three altogether, even though for now I won't be buying any more vehicles because I've spent quite enough money as it is. But there's Arvil. Let me just hang on a second. Let me get this sorted here. I'll show you the whole packaging as well in a second. But firstly, look at Arvil there. I'm so glad, as I say, to get this figure. I've wanted Arvil Crinid A Wing Green Leader forever. And that's not how I expected the actor to look. I don't know why. You only ever see him with a helmet on, but I'm going to say something random now. Green Leader always remind, reminded me that I had that same kind of face as, like, you know, Steve O from Jackass. <laughs> so random me saying that, but that's the same kind of features that he has like you know like a brother from another mother kind of thing you know what i mean uh like part of the same family tribe or something i don't know it just seems familiar you know when people look similar to other people i don't know but something about the eyes and the lips but anyway i'm sure there's some people out there who've met the guy who played arvel crinid and got his signature but anyway bottom line is it's a great figure that and to get that figure loose and you know, people like jake farrell i've always wanted a jake farrell figure i love jake farrell and then others, some of them are so expensive, but what they could do is I'd like them to repack Arvel Crinid, him, put him on a vintage card of his own. They could have him on an actual, you know, that shot of Green Leader when he's, you know, saying Green Leader standing by. And then obviously he's the same guy. If you're not familiar with who Arvel Crinid is and you've seen The Return of the Jedi, he is the man who says, 
after the, you know, int intensify forward firepower. Ah! The guy who crashes through the bridge, as I said before. That's who he is. But there's a great picture of him which would be would make an awesome car back. And as for Taicho Salchu, which I said the other day, they could put him on the traditional 80s A-Wing card, which is just the vehicle, the picture of the vehicle, and do what they did with B-Wing. B-Wing pilot Kian Farlander, who's expanded universe, they could have A-Wing pilot and then have Taicho Salchu underneath in brackets. But they will never do that now because it's all EU and things have moved on, but it's just, it would have followed suit nicely and give you a chance to repack Taichi Salchu. Anyway, we're going off course. Let me just very quickly show you the packaging and all of that. So it's got the same features as you saw with the last A-Wing, which was this one here, which is, let's go through it now. You've got the pivoting laser cannons, retractable landing gear, comes with Arvel Crinid and the opening canopy. So it's very nice. And then, is that... TIE Fighter I reviewed the other day. Vader's TIE Fighter, which was second hand. This is very much a first hand thing. So again, I'm I'm really pleased to have won this. It's going to round off the year nicely winning things like this. It's just nice. Okay, and then you've seen the front. There's nothing much more to show you on the packaging, but I will give you a little bit of a tour. Rebel Alliance logo there. There's the top. New cockpit. Ah, yes, it has got a new cockpit. So it's different. As I say, not only the paint apps, something moved then, the pivot. Different panelling, but it has got different... Hey, I'll show you this at the back. Now, as I said, I have owned the 1995 A-Wing in the past. Come on, focus, buddy. Work with me here. And I know for a fact that that's different on this one here. So let me show you what I mean. On this one here, that engine there, booster... That's the same as the one on the 95 one. Obviously, the paint apps on this are vastly superior. Look at that. Brilliant. But yeah, that doesn't have that, does it? You can just see right down the cannon, the barrel, whatever you want to call it, the tunnel, <laughs> the booster. So that's slightly different. And obviously, I, I, I believe it's got a different cockpit. You can just about see it there. Well, obviously, when I open it, you'll be able to see it better. Look at all those control panels there. You don't get that in there. So that's great, isn't it? Nice to see an upgrade there. So it's brilliant, brilliant. And again, it's dangerous, really, because this is different from the 95 one. It means I could potentially go out and buy that as well. <laughs> but not yet. I think I could do with saving me money. As I, I, think I've, I think I've said that already. Am I repeating myself? Um, anything else to show you? There's the back. You've seen the sides, because you can just see inside there. There it is. And that's all, ladies and gentlemen. So I think it's about time that we get this Legacy Collection Arvel Crinid Green Leader A-Wing Fighter open. Join me. Boom. And here he is, all done, opened, brilliant. So glad, so glad again to have this. And if I pan to the left, I thought I'd also get out Taicho Selchu to show you the difference. The, the figures are very similar, the same body, in fact, except for different heads and all of that. But there he is, A-Wing, uh, sorry, Green Leader of the A-Wing fleet. And there's his vehicle, and it's great. I'm going to show you all the features, so bear with me. First off, look at that beautiful cockpit there look at that nice nice detail to that as well just like the the green one look at that the burn marks there. i'd love to compare this i wish i had the 95 one on me now so i will get one of them i think i will eventually get one and i will compare them all all of them together including the green one so there is the guy the man himself of all crinid nice and his helmet's uh, really nice as well i love that just all sort of echoes the B-Wing pilot, you know, with those muffs. That's why I prefer to have Tight Show without his helmet on, because some pilots do have that in Return of the Jedi, but I prefer the muff look, because it takes me back to the 80s figure of the B-Wing. Anyway, I know he's A-Wing, but... Oh, come on, what am I doing? There you go. Sorry about that. It's quite funny, isn't it? The fact that they are Green Squadron. But doesn't he work? But he, you'd expect them all to be in Green Fighters, wouldn't you? But they don't. Some of them have red ones. But he looks good. That's why, as I say, I bought this one here specifically for him. But anyway, this video is not about him. About this guy here now. This is Green Leader. And yeah, I think the generic colour that you see in Return of the Jedi is, is red. You know, the, 
the vehicle, the vehicle color doesn't have to reflect the actual, you know, team that they're part of, which for him is Green Squadron. So there you go. All right. So um, now what I'll do is, I know I'm going to be. I will now show you the features, which will be exactly the same as what you've seen on my previous A-Wing video, which was not long ago, but let's just go through it. The actual action features. Oh, let me show you this very quickly. Now, the canopy on this one's really good. Now, don't let me down now, buddy. I thought I'd just test the canopy to see how well it stayed up, and it does. I even did a little bit of mosh in there. Look at that. If I do that, it does not go anywhere. So, you know, all models are different, but I've had two of these A-Wings already. One of them was second-hand. This is the second-hand one, actually. And they don't stay up very well. And I don't know about the 1995 one, but this one does. That is good. And then it closes nicely and there's no scratches on it either because as I say, it's first hand, never been opened. So that's good. So anyway, that's the canopy. Really impressed with that. And then underneath, as you know, there's this lever here. Look at that weathering on the base as well. That's really good, isn't it? Oh, what's that there? <sighs> Just a little bit of... Oh, God, what's happened to the camera? Bloody hell. How long has that been like that? Hopefully not that long. I just blew the little bit of dirt that was on there. But anyway, a bit of plastic or something. There's that battery compartment. There's the lever, and it does this. It's quite nice, the action of it. And oh, that's even better than the... Oh, look at that. That's smoother. Look at that. I know that this one here, you see, had a little bit of difficulty. That camera's not going to fall again, is it? But opening or I can't remember oh maybe that's all right oh I don't know what I'm talking about one of them looked like it didn't click into place very well he had to do have a have a, have a have a couple of tugs of the lever before it actually moved anyway let's put it back down again and what else is, does it do oh yeah the, 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 the pivoting things you have to pull them out a little bit out you hear the little click hang on listen there you go and then it rotates so that's really good that I would love to see a scene of these guys fighting shooting backwards pew, 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 pew. To ward off someone following them. That'd be really good, wouldn't it? What else to show you? Let's just have another look at... It's, it's really dirty, this one. I don't remember the A-Wing from 95 looking that dirty. It's really sooty, shall we say. Like... Sooty. That's nice, though. Look at that. It's really good, isn't it? It's a bit there as well, or was that just a shadow? I can't tell. We'll go into the cockpit in a minute, and I'm going to put Arvel Quinted in the cockpit, even though... As I said, as I said before, and I do mean it, I don't want to put him in a cockpit. In my future dioramas and stuff, he's so good as a figure. I want him standing as you just saw him now, looking like a hero, you know. Although I do like the bad guys in Star Wars. The good guys are also pretty darn cool, man. They're kind of like the good guys are good guys and the heroes, you know. They're, they've got it bad, you know. They're fighting up against the Empire and they've got infinite resources and stuff. But these guys got... Balls, man, they're tough. The Rebel Alliance are great. I don't want to talk about the Resistance now, but I didn't really like the fact that they just suddenly became rebels in The Last Jedi. I really didn't like that movie, I'm sorry. Godspeed, Rebels! Like certain things like that, so cheesy, man. Like, come on. They just want to reinvent the Rebel Alliance, so they did it that way, but anyway, whatever. The Resistance I quite liked, but now they're just rebels, isn't it? I don't know. We've had the Rebel Alliance, that's in the past. Don't bring it back like that, lamely. Why am I going on about that when I should be talking about this? I'm going off topic, spoiling the video. Anyway, let's have a look on the base. As you can see, there's some weathering on the base there. Look at that. Very nice vehicle. So I'm really happy to have two of them. Potentially three in future. Look at that. All right, let's get Arvo Crinid in there for you very quickly. Canopy up. Oh, before I do that, let me show you inside the canopy. Hang on. Inside the cockpit. Hang on. Let's focus. So there's that panel. That's nice. That There's no stickers or decals, but that's so much better like that. Nice dash. So in a diorama, you could have him, you know, standing nearby or whatever. There he is. Hi, Arvel. Oh, that's, that's, that's awful. That focus there. What am I trying to do here? Let me do this one-handed. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. Anyway, there you go. Um, yeah, let me put him in the cockpit for you. I'll mount the camera and I'll show you the helmet. is is really good. It's quite squished, the helmet, actually. There he is without the helmet again, but then when you put it on, 
boom, now he looks like a proper test pilot. There's something really test piloty about these guys. That also, I love I love the A-Wings, the A-Squadron or whatever. Not A-Squadron, Green Squadron. All right, let's do this. Oh, that reminds me. I really want to get the Mon Calamari pilot. He's also green. And, um, and you know what? I think I'm going to have to bite the uh, bullet here and speak to my man Tangori about that because I was, I've was i been waiting for years to see if I can win him on an eBay auction, but I can't find him. But I'm, I'm pretty sure I can find a mint Mon Calamari pilot, but I haven't yet. I haven't been looking for him, to be honest with you. If I got on, get on the case, I might find him. Anyway, anyway, whatever. I'll just get him inside the cockpit. He looks like he's going to fit in nicely. Let me just get his limbs in. And then slide him in so you can see what he's like. And this will just, just, just do this very quickly. I haven't got his hands on the dash. I haven't got time, really. I don't want to take forever. But you can obviously have his hands going up and touching the controls or whatever, I guess. But there he, yeah, he looks cool, man, doesn't he? And then, boom. Oh, well, that's a mess. Sorry about the mess. Out the camera again. Do not fall, camera. Do not fall. Let's get this uh, landing gear. Yeah, okay. Right, so I need to sort this out. I've gone there now and must finish. I've started, so I must finish. I think the helmet is very close to the top of the canopy, but I'm sure if you manipulate it, yeah, he'll close. He's just about clicking. Yeah, I haven't got time, but you get the general idea. Yeah, whatever. He's in there. I know I was having trouble with the Naboo pilot recently getting it to close, but I think there's a chance you can push him in further. I've just got to change the legs and stuff, but I'm not going to do that now. You get... The general idea. This is an awesome vehicle. This is the A-Wing from the Legacy Collection. Really pleased to have it. Let me get the landing gear down again. So I've got Arvel Crinid now. And I've got my man Taito Selchu. And I've got both of them. And they look great together. So when I move property, which is going to be in the new year, the big plan is to get a nice diorama, get some pilots, the A Squadron, B, and the rest. And it's going to be awesome. So there you go. Thank you so much for watching. Ladies and gentlemen, this has been Only One Kenobi. Only One.